A long-term study finds children who suck their thumbs and bite their nails may be protected from allergies. ABC 7's Alex Redmond joins us with more. Alex. Thanks, Haley. Parents of nail biters and thumb suckers often tell their children, take your fingers out your mouth. But research suggests there may be little need for these warnings. Four-year-old Brooks says, No. To sucking his thumb. Because I'm not a baby. New mom Bonnie Angela Mazeroski says baby Gianna started sucking her thumb right away. She usually sucks her thumb when she's hungry. There's only one thing Mazeroski says she's concerned about. Is germ-wise because, um, you know, she, she gets into other things. If you have kids, as a parent, you may be concerned that they're biting their nails or sucking their thumb. But now a new study suggests they may actually be building some resistance. Because we know that we, as people, have a right to survive on this planet only because we're able to battle bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Now research of a long-term study of more than 1,030 children born between 1972 and 73 published in the journal Pediatrics finds thumb-sucking and nail-biting in young children may be protective. And what they found is that those who had been sucking their thumbs had less likelihood of allergies. At age 13, 39 percent of thumb suckers and nail biters showed sensitivity to allergens, compared to 49 percent of children who had neither habit. What the study also found is that there was no correlation between thumb sucking and hay fever or asthma. The link between thumb sucking, nail biting and allergen sensitivity was still seen at age 32. Father of two, Matt McHugh of Julie Rohr Academy and Sarasota Academy of the Arts works with kids from 2 to 14 years old. The oldest child I think I've ever seen sucking their thumb was probably second grade, uh, first or second grade, so seven, eight years old. Dr. Mason's advice to parents? Don't be so worried if the children are sucking their thumb. As long as it doesn't impair their speech, this may in fact be protective. According to the American Dental Association, thumb sucking does not cause permanent problems with the teeth or jawline unless it's continued before, beyond four to five years of age. And Alex, what are some of the other implications of doing this? Well, if you do this, you may have to end up going to the orthodontist for braces, and it can get pretty severe because as a former thumb sucker, I, I do know that I don't have many allergies, but my teeth went through the mill. I mean, it was years and years and thousands of dollars, which thank goodness I was able to get, but not a good thing. So don't suck your thumb too much. Suck it enough to protect yourself from the allergens. That was my sister with <laughs> yeah. the pacifier growing up. She had to deal with all the orthodontics too. So yeah, yeah I can vouch for that. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Now let's head over.